Like Teddy Gray on stuff, Wushi gives a proper reaction. And now for something completely different. Hey teeny gang, so today I'm gonna be going through three tracks that you guys said I would not enjoy. Um, so this is gonna be fun, uh, I don't know for what reason, whether that's gonna be a positive or negative thing, however, <laughs> what I do know is there's no hard feelings. If I don't like some tracks from 80s, I can't possibly like everything that they put out. I'd be the fakest person if I did. So I'm hoping that there's gonna be some something different that I'm gonna hear, but I'm sure I won't hate this too much. Without further ado, please like, comment, subscribe, uh, leave your suggestions down below. Please, this time, leave suggestions for uh, tracks that I, I will definitely like. Um, with that being said, To The Beat is being done very soon. Um, so save your fingers. Sherry, you don't have to ask for that one. <laughs> Hopefully there's subtitles on all of these too. Hopefully. You know, this sounds like a Bad Bunny track. This sounds like a Bad Bunny song. They've definitely taken that like island influence, you know. I think Mingy was the perfect person to put on on the bit where uh, where the, the beat kind of broke down. I like that. <laughs> something cool. <laughs> don't say it twice. Definitely don't say it twice, Mingers. <laughs> that was ridiculous. Hakuna Matata. Yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I know what that's from. A lot of you will be horrified to, to know that I've never, I know where it's from, okay, but I've never actually seen Lion King. Wait, it is from Lion King, right? Hakuna Matata. Yeah, it is from Lion King. It's, yeah, I've never actually seen the film. Um, but to put Hakuna Matata in a song, what does it mean? No worries, right? No worries. Okay. Hmm. So is that is that kind of what on the way to the hot sun? No worries. Oh, no worries. We're just no <laughs> no worries. We're just on the way to the sun. No worries. We're just <laughs> we're just gonna be scorched about I don't know seven hundred thousand miles before we reach it. But no worries. <laughs> I like Hong Jun with the red hair, but the 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 choreography to to this one um looks looks it looks a lot lazier than I'm used to seeing from from eighties. I I don't know why. I was trying to maybe because they're saying like chill out, you know. So maybe they're taking a more chilled approach. I don't know, but it it doesn't seem like they're they're doing a lot for it, you know. Red hair killing it. Let's go.
Hakuna Matata ya did Hong Jun just call himself We're fishy fishy lad? Like? <laughs> <laughs> There's no way! There's absolutely no way! I'm crawling! I'm crawling away! There's actually no way. There's actually no way. Fishy, fishy. Oh. <laughs> I know that. Do you know what, man? Cross over the lower Mississippi River where we go. I, I, uh, I've never been. I've never been to Mississippi. I've never been. M I double S I double S I double P I double. And that was how I learned to spell Mississippi when I was younger. Um, I don't quite get what this song means. <sighs> But they've said Hakuna Matata, and now Hong Jun is calling himself a fish. So I'm very confused by this already. I feel like this may have been like quite a throwaway track. Oh my God. <laughs> Me wrong this song is nice so that that song that's genuinely that song is very nice however i feel like anybody could have been on that beat and it would have been just as hard you know i don't feel like the lyrics really really meant that much or that they stuck to a particular scheme apart from the whole scheme of like the ocean i don't know <clears throat> well we did say that uh, these were going to be ones I probably didn't like, so... It's not just like the whole island sound that I don't like. I'd be interested to know why people thought I wasn't going to like this, because it can't possibly be just for the fact that Hong Jun called himself a fish. And Mingi uh, recreated the Lion King stage performance. Hakuna Matata ya! Hakuna Matata! I feel like I've got his voice nailed to a T. Okay, so Turbulence, the second of three tracks you guys agreed I probably wasn't going to enjoy. So, without further ado, you know what part of me is feeling like you've all bounded together on Discord or something, and you've all said, right, what track do we really want him to react to? We'll just pepper one of those in there as well. Mm. I know you people. I know you people. Let's go. Turbulence. Sounds like maybe a love song or turbulence. They're on shaky ground, maybe. Got 
바람에 다친 마음에 세상이 내게 주란 말을 택하는 듯 그다음엔 어둠만 이 끝에 Where's this song going? Where's this song going? Mingy's always here to bring a, a little bit of distortion to a track. Fix on. As soon as, as soon as you hear that, I really like how soft this is. How are we already a minute in? Doesn't feel like we're already a minute in. Doesn't feel like enough has been done or enough has been said. Um, by me, I mean, these guys have done the most <laughs> already. Um, but I haven't really paused or anything. I suppose you guys know why. This is like a ballad. Definitely not really my bag. I prefer like instrumentation and deep lyricism. I don't really get that in ballads, you know? I feel like I get exactly what they're talking about and it, they're making it very obvious because obviously within songs, you can't fit that much into it. So you have to be a lot more obvious. There's no there's no real room for, for too much thought or too much wordplay. In the middle of a ballad, Hong Jung and Mingyi give us the little back and forth again. How is that? What? How, what? And they're also using your sang for his deep vocals again. Let's go. Mm. Oh. Mm. Okay. Well, I mean, I didn't hate it. You know, I didn't hate it. There were several, several things about that uh, about that that I enjoyed, especially the the back and forth between Hong Jun and Mingi. How can you not enjoy that? Um, but also Jong Ho's high vocals. Uh, also San, Songhua, brilliant performances. Um, and also your sang again used for the deeper vocals. I actually quite like that. Um, 
I, I won't lie, if there wasn't that little Hong Joon and Mingi thing in there, songs like that are a little bit boring for me personally, because I can't be on that tempo for too long. It's just too slow. I like doing everything like quite fast paced and I don't know, there's nothing I do in my, in my daily life that I'm slow enough to be able to enjoy that music. Do you know what I mean? I don't know, my entire life I've just been I'll probably save songs like that for when I'm when I'm like a bit older and I like to sit down more. I don't know. I even do these these reactions on my feet. I can't. I'm just not that guy. You're not that guy. Um, but yeah, turbulence. It actually wasn't that bad to be honest. It wasn't that bad at all. Um, if I ever go through some heart heartbreak again, you know, probably one that I'll go to. Just for the fact that like halfway through, I could do a bit of rapping and feel like you know what? Fuck you. <clears throat> I don't want to be in my feels all the time. I don't want to be in my feels all the time. Sometimes I want a bit of Mingy's destruction, you know? Pause. Hard pause. Pause on hard as well. I'll stop pausing. Let's play the next one. Okay, so the next one, Eternal Sunshine. Uh, already, by the thumbnail, um, this is going to be another one of those... Uh, what, oh my God, what was that one? Time out? The one from, from Stray Kids that I just, I really didn't gel with whatsoever. It was more like a, a boy bandish, like the generic boy bandish type stuff. Um, like, hey, look at us. We're all having a good time. Uh, don't you want to be by, with us by the beach in the sun? <laughs> don't you want to get your sandals on? It just, songs like that just don't make me happy. <laughs> I don't know why. I need like harsh lyrics to make me happy. Weird human. I need Halazia energy. When I asked you guys to give me three exam three examples of songs that you thought I wouldn't like, I literally said, I want to see how well you know me. Even the police are coming because you have committed a felony against me. Like you don't know me. This is fire. This beat already. <laughs> There's 808s in there. It's Pacey. We started with Mingus. Sir Mingus. Jesus, come on, come on, lads, lads and gals, they's and them's, everybody. Come on, and then we start with them. Do you want my treasure? Fix all! Oh yeah. I like that he always says that. Do you know why I like it? It's because it's synonymous with rap. Like, rappers always have like a tagline. Rappers always have a tagline. So for Mingi to be in, a, in, a, in an industry that, that doesn't necessarily welcome rap as like a, a popular thing, for him to be that much into rap that he's trying to take it into the K-pop industry and give himself like a little... A little tagline, you know? I don't know anybody else within the industry who does that. Chang Bin, Han, Bang Chan, Hyun Jin, none of, none of them when they're rapping, they don't they don't do that. I've heard I've heard Bombing Tiger. We've heard RM. I've heard loads of it was that PH1. There was that whole crew of them. J Park. I've heard loads of them. I ain't heard anybody have a tagline. Sir Mingus. Sir Mingus of Tees. Let's go. What you want, my 
I thought that Mingus was only brought in for that little bit. Hey, would you want my treasure? Because the, the vocals after that were very, very soft. And I've never heard, correct me if I'm wrong, I've never heard Mingy's voice that soft on a track that I've reacted to before. I've only ever heard his voice be used like this. Hey, fix on! We're gonna make it loud! I've only ever heard his voice be used like that. Fix on! We're gonna make it loud! I've only ever heard that. He was really soft on that. No, 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 no. And now we've got a beat switch up. Do you guys even know me? Do you honestly? Oh my god, is this. Th mm. See, I literally said, literally said, I guarantee you've done one where it's like, oh, we know he's going to enjoy this one, but we'll, pe we'll put that one in anyway. Guys, I'm not going anywhere. I'll get through every single track in time. I'm not going anywhere. You guys are so impatient. So impatient. Let's go back for Mingy's bit now. I can see why he wrecked so many people. This is so cheesy! I fucking love this! We shine like the sunshine. <laughs> One, I all day. Two, I'm in the day. Three, i Okay, cheese. Oh, yeah! Pair of fans I'm gonna go maybe it's the day you not go much. Cause you the mono leader, so time it back. Oh, time it back. Okay, one second. Sion <laughs> Wall's hair there. Looks like a young John Wick. I like his hair there. Looks fucking sick. I hated his hair in uh, Gorilla. It looked like one of the penguins from um, Happy Feet. Or is it the other one? Surfs up. He looked like one of the penguins in that, with his hair like, out here. Here? I like this hairdo. Hairdo.
Well, you lot don't know me. I'm fucking, I'm pissed. I've been on this channel for a fucking year. I have been, <laughs> you know? I... Hi guys. You look pretty sick. Your son's done with life, is he? Um, right, well, like I say, I'm annoyed. You guys don't know me at all. Just quietly cry in this corner. I can't even cry in this corner. There's no reason to cry in this corner. There's no reason to cry. Not in this corner. I've got achievements. The lads. The sponsor, you know. Can't cry here. But you guys definitely don't know me. Either that, or you seem to think you're little pranksters on this channel. Oh, we'll get him to react to one even, even though we know that he'll like it. <laughs> Hilarious. Well, mission accomplished. Uh, we've gone through three songs that you allegedly don't think. Although, saying that, there's so many people that put Eternal Sunshine. Well, you're definitely not gonna like this one. Maybe because it was quite boy bandish, but... I don't know. I'm not in control of what, what I like and what I don't like, all right? Hey, if I like something, I like it. I don't even feel like me as a person, I'm in control of it, because I go in things with preconceived notions and then blast them out of the water myself. No one's, no one's in my ear going, oh, definitely try and enjoy this one if you can. If I do, mm, I do. And I did, so mm, I did. Hmm. Eternal Sunshine actually would be one that I'd, uh, that I'd listen to. I like the fact that Mingi said Christmas in August, and then they alluded to like different times of, of the year, um, but then said eternal, uh, eternal sunshine. So basically saying that the relationship with this person or the feeling that they're feeling, they feel like they want all year round, basically. Um, so yeah, it's been your boy, Teddy Grant, on some stuffs, on a lot of stuffs. You've had three in one today, you lucky, lucky people. Um, well, I'm going to get going. Uh, maybe we've got another premiere. Maybe we don't. Who knows at this point? I should know. Ask me. I might tell you. Probably won't. I'll see you later.